Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here in this video. I've got your gameplay for the J32B Lansen. This is a currently ranked 6, battle rating 9.3 fighter in the Swedish Air Tech Tree. This vehicle is one of those vehicles that I feel is overlooked because it sits just before the J35D Draken, one of the planes that so many people want. That is an aspirational plane if there ever was one, possibly more so than the JA37C Yacht Vigen. However, the J-32B is a fantastic plane in its own right. This is a solid fighter, and in fact, if I'm not mistaken, lasted in Swedish service for longer than the J-35, maybe it was? Let me know in the comments below, but it wasn't all too far off, and this came quite a bit before the J-35. So either way, this has a fantastic engine with afterburner at 9.3 BR, which nowadays isn't so uncommon but it is very nice and leads to an excellent rate of climb even though it does have subsonic speeds it still has a great rate of climb and can function very well at sea level turn time is a bit lacking this is a fairly heavy fighter but it also has four missiles essentially aim 9 bs with the rv-24s so nothing all too fantastic but having four of them is definitely great and it has four 30 millimeter cannons Again, not the best. Personally, I'd prefer the 20 millimeter cannons on the A32A because this has two times the ammunition, but these are still extremely powerful. The only real negative there is the fact that they do not have any tracers. That said, let's get into a few matches, see what we could do. But as you can see, the fact that I purchased this skin, this is one of my all time favorite Swedish fighters. That said, let's get into it. In my opinion, this is just like one of those really, really good looking planes. It's got like kind of a dense looking plane in my opinion I mean like look at that thing it's just like a wide boy you know it's a it's an awesome plane with this paint job especially like it doesn't even look like that's just pure metal that looks like silver at least in my opinion that looks like silver paint with the blue and the white on top it's just mm, good looking plane and I am a big fan. So I got an AV-8. Now, one of the great things about this also is the fact that, despite the fact that, obviously, it's not really going to be incredibly useful, it does still have a radar, which will help me to actually slave the missiles to it, which, believe it or not, you can actually do with this and also things like the SMT, for example, the MiG-21 SMT, that has the, um, the R3Ss. So you can actually slave very, very slightly with those, which is pretty cool. Uh, but let's see if I can hit him. Got a kill with those 30s, despite the fact, again, that I do not have any sort of tracers with them. But I have used up about a third of my ammunition. Again, one of the reasons why I kind of prefer the idea of the 20 millimeters instead, because... Overall, they tend to be, at least in my opinion, a little bit better because you get more ammunition out of them. So, okay, that guy's Toasterinos. Let's turn over here. We have some more, tar I mean, enemies. It's going to say targets. Got to be respectful to these people. So, that J-35, or J-35, F-86 is likely flying over this way. If I can get a nice lock on him for around eh, two kilometers, that would be ideal. Let's try this. Not thinking I'm gonna hit him. Not gonna go for that, which I'm gonna call it over there, the F-104. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but this is one of those planes, I've actually talismaned this because of how much I used to play this plane. I loved it. This was actually one of my main grinding planes for the Swedish Air Tech Tree. Probably even more so than the J-35A. I'm not a huge fan of that plane, personally. Um, I just don't really think it's fantastic. Let's see if I can hit this fella. Got a nice crit on him. Now, AIM-4 or AIM-9Bs are really, really nice for taking out NPCs because they fly in a straight pattern. They're pretty much uh, very predictable aircraft. I'm just going to fire on this guy so that they don't steal my kill. Got it. Very nice. Two kills and a bot as well. Can't complain. Really quick first match. None too shabby. And to be honest with you guys, I haven't played this plane in probably over a year. And even despite that, it's still one of my favorite planes. And playing it makes me realize why it is so damn good. 
It just has the ability to lay down the hatred. Like, look at that. And plus, its maneuverability is not as bad as I remember it being. It's actually quite impressive in that regard. So I'm just going to go kill this CL-13 if that MiG-21S had his way with it. But, that said, let's get into another match. Pretty quick match. <laughs> the a had five kills, but I had two kills and a few NPC kills. And uh, not too shabby for a really quick first match. We might even get into four matches in this gameplay. That said, let's move on and get into the next match. You know, say what you will about War Thunder, but they have a working clock right here in the cockpit. Right now where I am, I guess it's 920, which is pretty darn cool. And wait, is, does that have seconds? Okay, it doesn't, it does have seconds. Oh my gosh. Anywho, that first match was pretty quick, of course. I mean, so many of these matches are, but the way I look at it is, one, it, are you getting a good amount of kills? That's obviously good for a gameplay video. But two, if you get a decent amount of kills in a really short amount of time, that's really fun too. So may as well put that into the video. So with that said, it looks like we have a Sukhoi 7 in the SU-7 down here. So what I'm going to try to do is obviously pop in behind him. Now, the fact that I'm subsonic does not bode well for me. But the fact that I have an afterburner... Um, actually does not do too poorly, and I just broke the sound barrier in my subsonic plane. Kudos to me, but that is going to rip my wings if I keep that up. So I may as well put these puny little air brakes on to slow myself down a little. Now, once I get within hopefully two-ish kilometers of this fella, I should... Oh, no, wait, he's going to try to outturn me. Um, okay, let's try to make him as some sort of an apex. Uh, good point, and I hit him. That's how you do it. You have to make sure that you know more or less where that point of meeting is going to be. Now I can hopefully blast him with an aim 9B. And, oh, I can't. <laughs> that, that was almost bad for a second there. That, that almost turned really bad. So we have an AB-8A over here. It looks like this guy's got himself some bombs, meaning that he is not serious about War Thunder at all. So I'm going to go for him. Obviously, that's not true. That's just a joke. You can have bombs in your aircraft and be serious about this game. Um, I mean, heck, I'm not even hitting these guys, and I'm serious about this game. So, you're going to want to turn up a little bit. I think I have this experted, but you can just see how serious these Gs are that I am pulling. Hopefully, I can turn back down, get this AV-8, and he is gone. So, I'm going to try to turn over on him. Hopefully, these flares that it fires inevitably do not take me out. Wouldn't that have been cool if I had actually hit this F5C right here? That would have been neato, huh? So I'm gonna fire on him. Sometimes having dumb uh, missiles is not a bad thing because it kind of, like they're almost too dumb to go straight for the aircraft or to, to go for the flares rather in some instances. But I'm actually not chasing this guy. He probably thinks I am. I'm just going over here so I can get the F3H2 Demon, because, in my opinion, that is a bit of a more manageable target for me. Uh, then I might go for the MiG-21, so long as I do not get killed beforehand. Okay, this guy is... somehow dodging all my shots. One of the big problems with Swedish aircraft is that you do not have... Tracers, which, at least at lower level, or at higher levels, rather, which um, really is a bummer. So I'm going to go for this MiG-21. Got the kill, finally! Got an F5 here. Got a second kill, three kills, not too bad. Should have had four kills. That demon slipped right through my... Uh, my thing with jiggies. So that said, let's get into another match, see what we could do. Two kills in the first match, real quick. Three kills in the second match, pretty quick. None too shabby, and I think I am number one on the team. Not bad. Said, let's get into another match. Maybe there will be four this time. So, one of the things with this aircraft is you really have to know, one, obviously, how to play it, but two, that you're going to be in up tiers a lot, but you also be in down tiers a pretty decent amount, which is nice. Uh, <laughs> But those up tiers 
will make it very difficult to play this because, of course, it only has the, uh, again, essentially a 9Bs and uh, it only has a subsonic speed, which on both accounts is just not good at all. So I'm going to try to hope that this guy can get right into my flight line. Probably not. As I expected, I'm not going to fight him. I'm just going to fly right away from him. Because I cannot kill a J2. That is a MiG-15, if you guys don't know. And MiG-15s are my kryptonite, essentially. We do have this MiG-15 up here. If he can straighten out a little bit, I might be able to missile him. Probably not. Not a big deal. Let's see if I can get him on the down slope. Got the kill. Not too shabby dabby. So that J2 right there. Always a concern having to fight any sort of MiG with this thing because they can and will outturn me very, very easily. It, it's pretty much not a fair fight. I mean, like, even though the, the J32B has better maneuverability than I remember, it's still not good by any means. Hopefully this guy straightens out a little bit. And it doesn't look like he will. Got the kill! Very nice. I got lucky there. So, again, I mean, like, this thing, it's really fun. But I've been noticing that I've been getting a lot of really quick matches with this. Which are fine, you know, I can't really complain too much, but at the same time, man, I, I want like a longer, drawn out match, something where you could really throw this thing through its paces. Um, should I go for that F100? Maybe, maybe. Yeah, you know what? I think I will. Can I hit him? Probably not. No biggie? Let's see if I can launch a missile on this fella. Probably not. Probably not going to get a hit, rather. That's totally fine. As long as he doesn't even know I'm here, I should be okay. Even if he gets a little bit of distance. Ooh. Oh, ooh, ooh. That might be favorable. And it is. I got myself a hit. Going to launch one more time because he is not able to move. And I got a third kill. Two guns, one missile <laughs> with three missile firings, which is not a great ratio, but it is something, I guess. Ooh. That's probably not going to be good, though. At least I doubt it. It might be. I got a kill! Fourth kill! Very nice. Cannot complain about this. And we have this fella here. I'm running out of ammunition, so I do not want to screw this up. Okay, I'm just going to fly home because I got eh, not many missiles. I've got no missiles left, not much ammunition, and hopefully I can get away from that F-104 with my allies covering me. But not too bad. Pretty quick. Four kills. That's not a bad result. I cannot complain. And we saw a few enemies left. This is not a guaranteed win yet thus far. Uh, I've said... I kind of just said that really strangely. But yeah, not bad. You know, first two matches were real quick. Two, three kills, I think it was. Two kills, one assist. Three kills then. Second match, but not bad. You know, we might be in an up tier. And I might be in a huge disadvantage. But at least I'm not that guy. The dude's a MiG-15. He's not even in a squad. At least as far as I could see. How the heck is it? Unless like that, that BGF, CB, FG guy is his squad mate. And somehow dragged him into this. Isn't that like a BR 8.3 fighter? And he's facing 10.0? 10.3 BR fighters? Anyways. We're here in the last match fully spaded, or not fully spaded, whoops, been doing a lot of stock spaded recently. We are here in the last match, of course, with the J32B. I'm going to try to sneak in on these AV-8s. The problem is that we have this MiG-21 down here. These AV-8s are not going to fall for the old uh, AIM-9B in the tailpipe trick. Not at all, unfortunately. Okay, let's turn down that thrust had those tiny little air brakes on. They do not really work all too well, but I suppose they work well enough. Not going to be able to lock on to him. Now, with this, I can kind of slave onto... Okay. Got a nice and relatively easy kill. Is that F5 dead? Yes, he is. But I do have someone 
No one behind me. Very nice. I got kind of lucky. Now, as long as that's an F-104A, I don't believe those have countermeasures. So I'm going to try to lock. Let's see if I can get him. He's not on too much of an angle, except he is. But very nice. He's lining up perfectly for me. We have a launch right up into that tailpipe. Okay, so F5C, not a good shot. But I do see an A10 over there. So it is time to climb, of course. And if you can knock on the A10's door, you should be able to just kind of pop down on them. I'm assuming they're kind of like cockroaches. Where there's one, there's probably multiple. But, you know, unfortunately, when it comes to this plane, for the most part... Wait, is that guy gonna kill his buddy? Wouldn't that be something? But for the most part, you're gonna be in an up tier with these. Oh, he did kill his friend! By total accident, of course. Wow. Okay. So they are killing each other to keep us away from them. But again, unfortunately, you have yourself a lot of up tiers with this plane. And if, I mean, hey, I'm not doing too poorly considering this is an up tier. I might actually go slap on in order. Let's do Avenger. And of course, they got him. Probably should have done the other one, but it is what it is. I'm not even going to try to entertain that. The other ones have got to be somewhere near here that are not that guy. He's going to die before I even get over there. Okay, we have ourselves an A-10 down here. Just saw him. If I can get three kills, I will be happy. Considering this is an up tier and this match is moving a bit slower than I want. Okay, there we go. You have the A-10 right here. Slap on these air brakes. Again, unfortunately, 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 combat flaps do not work very well with this because it ends up being very easy. <laughs> that was really easy. I'm sorry, guy. Um, but it ends up being that your combat flaps break at something like 400 kilometers per hour. I mean, it's embarrassingly slow, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, tell me in the comments below. But I'm going to try to launch or um, hit this guy. Got the crit! Oh, buddy! Woohoo! I'm going to count that as a kill, even though these guys are going to steal it. I can guarantee it. Yep, there we go. MiG-21 MF. That dude was being a real MF, if you ask me, but... Hey, guess what? Three kills, one assist. Should have gotten four kills. We still have a jabroni out there. Flying around with napalm bombs. Who flies around with napalm bombs? What type of plane would that be? Whoever this is, they are flying... I am almost sure of it. They are right near their own base. So I might give their base a little bit of a... I'm not even going to go for him. I'm going to go and pay their base a visit, but not too shabby-dabby for the last match here. Three kills, one assist. Total up tier in planes that should be totally outclassing me, and yet they are not. And this is something you never do, guys. See when you're right back there near no discernible targets, objectives, or enemies, or whatever? Don't do that, because what that is called is passive playing, passive behavior, and that is not only reportable, but it is also a really, really crummy way to participate in this game. Okay, well, anyways, the match is over. So that said, thanks so much for watching. I will take three kills, one assist. Should have been four kills, but thanks so much. I'll see you all on the other side. J32B rules. Take care, everyone.